What's going on? I've been wanting to make a melee build for a while, and ever since they've added chainsaw legendary effects, I've been wanting to try to, that out as well. So I decided to go ahead and try out and see how it goes. This is my versus results. In this video, I will show you my build what perks I use. I don't usually use them, but buffs, what you can use gain some additional damage on top of what I'm already putting out. But before we begin, I want to go ahead and try to out on a little bit bigger enemy. But it's not just the West Tech. The armor that I am using right now currently is just focused around bolstering power armor so I can get as much damage resistance as I can possible. You can do this with any set of power armor that you want. My secondary legendary effects on my set is just random, whatever just came up. But a good couple to go for is AP refresh speed, plus one strength, any weight reducing is good. As for my weapon that I'm using, it's a bloody chainsaw with the flamer mod and the long bar bow mod. The two additional stars on this is limb damage and plus one in its strength. Alright, on this build for my perk card points, I have them sorted out like this. I've got strength, I've got 15 points in. Perception, 1. Endurance, 3. Charisma is at 10. Intelligence is 8 agility at 9 and luck is at 10 all right and my main perk cards i've got all of my two hand melee perk cards maxed out so i can maximize the damage output i can since the chainsaw is a two-handed melee weapon i have full charge at rank 2 so i can run my power armor and scissors maxed out so i can cut through the armor more then I put the last point into tra traveling pharmacy so my aid weighs slightly less. Under perception I have glowing sights at rank 3, refractor at rank 2, butcher's bounty at rank 1. These perk cards are here mainly because my legendary perk card perception gives me an additional 5 points. So that gives me six points to fiddle with. So I went ahead and just put them as this. The only one that's really good would be Glow Sight. Whenever you're coming across glowing enemies, the other two you don't really actually need. Charisma, I have strange in numbers, so when I'm on a team, my mutation negative effects are reduced. Squad maneuvers, so I can move faster when I'm on a team. Travel agent, so I can spend less caps traveling around the map. Suppressor at rank 3, so I can reduce the damage dealt to me. And tenderizer, so I can do more damage to them. Under intelligence, I have nerd rage maxed out, since I am a bloody build. Power user for fusion corridor duration. Portable power, so my power armor weighs less. Batteries included, so my fusion cores weigh less. Scrapper is my last one, so I can keep filling my scrap box up. So I have Fallout first and just go ahead and scrap anything and put it in there. And under agility, I have Action Boy maxed out for AP refresh speed. Through hiker, so my all my food weighs don't weigh me down. Mainly my purified water. Born survivor for helping me survive. This is very helpful because whenever I get down to low health, it will automatically use a stem pack for me. Adrenaline I have maxed out, so that way I can get maximum damage when I get across the horde. And under luck I have bloody mess for more damage. Serendipity at rank one. Good with salt at rank 3, so my food don't ex expire. Luck of the draw, so all my weapons will sometimes repair itself. Class freak, so my negative mutations are not as bad. 
and most importantly starch genes so I won't lose any, or gain any mutations. And for buffs I don't generally use them but here are a few buffs that will increase the damage of this build. There'll be a couple different categories, food, chems, items. This isn't a complete list but it's a few options that you can use. Under foods there's glowing meat steak. Death Claw Steak, Yigo Ribs, and a Roast. Under Kims, there's Fury, Psycho, Psycho Nats, Psycho Buff, Overdrive. For item buffs, there is Gorgnock issue number one. And there's also the Bobblehead Melee and the Bobblehead for Strength. Alright, and that's all I have for this video. In this video, I did not do any of this on a team. So that should add a little bit more damage to what was in this. Especially since one of my mutations is herd mentality. But that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.